Hello you, welcome to Geekism and welcome back to Project Hospital where we're going to carry on with our little hospital today. Looks like we're moving into the night shift, is it? Uh, yeah, so not much more for them to do now. Uh, we didn't kill that many people yesterday, I don't think. Let's have a look. Five. Uh, oh, 17 treated. Okay, so we're not a million miles off treating 20 a day. Maybe tomorrow we'll manage 20 a day. Um... What I have done as well is I've added these things in as well. People have commented saying these are the things you need to get them um, to get them to sort of come in uh, automatically without the doctors having to come out. So we'll see how that goes tomorrow. Everyone's off. See you all later. Have you not got a home to go to? Yeah, I'm just going to finish watching this before I go. No, I'm back to work. No, now go. Right, okay, Karen. <laughs> uh, you would think maybe, like, towards the last hour or two, they would know not to have a break. But, you know, it is what it is. Uh, let's skip through till morning. And straight on till morning. I don't know why this has to be, a, like, a slow thing. I don't know why you can't just cut through and make it seven in the morning. But there we go. Okay, so next step uh, it wants us to do is build an x-ray room. Now, I, I guess we can do it, to be honest with you. I, um... I, I did always originally just want to do a kind of small GP's office, but to be honest with you, we're done if that's what we're going to do. So we kind of need to add on a little bit more, really. I notice there isn't really much of a way around here. What I'm thinking is eventually to have like a second side entrance here. A lot of hospitals have second entrances, uh, like an A&E entrance over this way, you see, especially where we've got the uh, place here for an ambulance. So I think we'll probably do like a big V working around towards here. A uh, patient got worse because the treatment was wrong. Oh, sorry, John. Okay, well, let's have a look what we can do with you then, Johnny. You're not going to be happy, are you? Okay, first of all, is this working? Let's have a look. Yes, yeah, so they're coming in there without the doctor having to come out. It was these little things we needed. Okay, cool. Right, let's pump the brakes a second then. You've got a chest contusion. Also known as a bruise. How do we treat it? Emergency care. So can we can we cure it then? Well, leave them to it. Not really bothered if people are cured and not sort of place to look good. Uh, right. So one thing I do want to do is um, I noticed that um, Commander Santa's back, which is awesome. He hasn't been making videos for a while. I think he moved. I think he was no clear diagnosis. Go to. Uh, Clear off. How do we how do we do it? How do we send them off? Send it to another patient. Okay. Uh, yeah, Commander sent us back, and he's played this game a little bit, and uh, he's doing a really great job. And he, what he did is the one thing because I never really liked the fact that I've got this massive desk here with all funny things. He actually wrapped it with a door uh, with a wall around it, which I think is a really good idea. So it's actually what I'm going to do. Um, I'm going to come in here. Uh, no, 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 no. We're going to come into stuff. Uh, yeah, and then click that okay yeah yeah like that so clear all that off okay and then we're going to move I'd like to move something I can't quite remember how we do it though um, should we just start again what I want to do is put them there, you see. And PCs there. Move them in a little bit, basically. Okay. And then get rid of... I don't really understand why I can't get rid of that. Oh! I just figured it out. It's somebody sitting there, isn't it? There we go. Let's go into thinking. We need to reassign you. Um, select department. Uh, no. Switch employee. No. Uh, sign. There we go. Move to here, please, Susan. Excellent. Now we should be able to come in and, and clear you out. Oh, well, I'll give you a minute to move off your little chair. There we go. Okay, so now we should be able to get rid of There we are. That's lovely. And we'll put that there. All right, so uh, stuff for a reception. I do want a little bit more of the desk there. Um, I think somebody's asking us to rotate R, by the way, if you're struggling to rotate. Okay, so now we're going to put a door 
uh, wall even, sorry. Boop. Um, what wall are we using here? Like a line with a with blue around it. So where's that? Um, it's going to be that one, isn't it? Blue line. Okay, so we're going to do that. Uh, but on the inside, we'll have a, um, a nice wooden wall. Um, or do we, are we better off doing something like that, do you think? Let's clear that. Let's clear that wall out. Let's try that again. Oops. Well, that's okay, actually, because we're going to... Oops. That's not what I mean to do at all. Let's try that again. Okay. So, outside wall with a strip on it of blue, and do that. And put it back in there for now, although that probably will change. And then there. Yeah, I think that is better, actually. So let's get rid of... There we go, that's the, that's the button I was looking for. And then put you in that way. Yeah. That's better. Alright, we need a door on this. So let's get a staff only, restricted access, staff only door there. Alright. And then what we can do is add some more... Um, Actually, no, I think I want the whole thing restricted, you know. Uh, not not the whole thing, sorry. What I mean is I want to do something like this. So let's put the walls back down again so we can see what's going on. Okay, here, here we go. I've changed my mind. All this is going to go. All right, this door can go as well. How do we get, is there a special button for removing doors and stuff? Yeah, there we go. Uh, right, walls. That wall there is going to come in here. Okay, and then this one is going to come out. We need to put some foundation down, like so. Let's put walls up for us, which is nice. So now we can have a, uh, a sort of staffing area around the back with some more office space and stuff. Because that's one thing that happens quite a lot, uh, I've noticed, is, uh, is yeah, they have like um, staff only, like a staff office behind the reception. Uh, I don't want that wood. Uh, that we're just spending a lot of money here I understand but these must okay now tall glass like that tall glass there and a glass door there hmm is there a window that looks a bit more like this the right sort of glass there we go that matches the door a bit more that's good yes that's what we want. Okay. Right. Foundation then can come around here. Oh, we add some funky walls in. I think I might have turned that on <laughs> thinking it would be useful. But now, actually, now it's happened. Not sure it would be. I think it's really easy just to draw the walls on ourselves. Okay. So that's going to be corridors going to go down there and there. Okay, and now we have a restricted access door here. So that's how the staff who work here get in now, basically. So it's a little bit more convoluted for them, but I do think it's a lot more realistic and uh, and nice looking. So I'm happy to do it. Um, now we can do that because that whole area has changed. Okay, let's have a look how that looks now with everything closed up in the day. There we go. Susan Lewis, shush your mouth. Okay, um, yes, good. Now, we just need a couple of things in here, though, to make this space uh, look a little better. So, cabinet with doors. Um, I would like a, like a big... I mean, I guess we could put one of those in. It looks a little silly, doesn't it? Hmm. Right, card files. A couple of card files. There we go. Uh, printer. Not too sure whether they even need one, but they can have one. Uh, a water dispenser. That's a good thing for them to have. Get themselves some water when it's when they're thirsty. And how about a nice uh, plant up in the corner there? There we go. There's your reception. Looking lovely. Okay, cool. And a clock on the wall. Because, you know, I want to be geekism without clocks on the wall randomly. So, yeah, this space. I mean, we could... Is there, like, a room we could put into it? 
Um, let's have a look. We've got waiting room, doctor's office, restrooms, corridors, receptions, common room, cleaning closet, and a stat lab. Um, so the answer is no. But I'm thinking once we open up um, more options, like later on we can do here, um, radiology, um, uh, uh, general surgery, internal medicine. I'm thinking maybe internal medicine might have like an office or something. Yeah, there we go. Internal medicine office. Um, common diagnostic outpatient office. Oh no, no, no. That's for, for people to go in. We don't want that. I was thinking, you know, like um, like in Super Hospital, they have like a marketing thing, that kind of thing. Um, cardiology, neurology. No, they're all going to be surgery lab, med lab, orthopedic lab, cardiology lab. No. No, nothing really there is uh, is jumping at me. So I think we'll just... They're all things that people get checked in, including the x-ray. Okay, so in this room then, we're just going to have a couple of desks to make the place look good. And then later on, if we can find a use for the room, great. If we can't, it, you know, we'll live. Uh, okay, so in this room, we want some... Uh, actually, we just want like office desk stuff, don't we? So... Well, I don't like that one. I prefer the other one. Yeah, that one, but maybe a different colour. Yeah, there we go. Uh, okay, so that one there and there. Do we have four desks in here? I think we do. There we go. Uh, office chairs. Yeah, nice. Hopefully they can get into those. That's why they won't be able to. Um, computer. Where's the computers? Can we put a PC? Can we just put a regular PC down on the table? That's what I'd like to do. Um, looks like there's everything but. My worry is that putting a PC down is like it's an actual needed thing in a room. So let's try and do it this way. Uh, PC. Oh, no, we can we can do it. That's okay. Okay, so there's your PCs. Now some of you are gonna have printers of a printer there. Actually, no, I'll see what we'll do. Rather than having a printer there, um let's just get rid of that one. What on earth has just happened there? Um What I would prefer to do is have a printer like in the corner of the room on a table you know like smaller offices sometimes just have the one printer on a uh, on a network I think that's what I want to do so let's have a look at a suitable table there is just like a regular round table isn't there? a square table there we go so we put you there oops let's put you the right way around and make you a similar, make you a similar colour. There we go. And then on you, we should be able to put a printer. See, no, it doesn't show up like, until you're actually in the room. I thought that list showed everything, but whatever. Uh, there we go, printer. So now some of you can have these, because that kind of looks good. Um, I don't want a vending machine in here. We will have a water dispenser, though for you all to sort of gather around and talk about the uh, TV last night. Potted plant. Uh, yeah, one of those over there. It's, oh, you can have a lamp. That's cool. Uh, clock. Um, who hasn't got anything? You can have a lovely flower on yours. You're very cool. Uh, notice board then by the water tower. And just a couple of crash cans, I suppose. Maybe either side, and they and the people who work here hate the fact that they it's their job to deal with the trash cans, you know. Um, okay, so that is a completely, completely, I mean completely, useless rule room. But it's what this channel's all about, isn't it? Really making useless rooms. Let's uh, let's carry on. Uh, paint on the wall there, and this wall will all be the same as well. This wall will be as well. And then here on the outside, we're using that one, I think. 
Yeah. Yeah, there we go. So, I guess uh, X-Ray is probably the one to start on then next. Let's, um, let's knock this down. Let's pop in some foundation. We'll go this way with it. All right. And then we'll stick a... We want just a nice plain tile here and here. Um, we've used a similar here, but very plain to do that wall with. There we go. So this is going to be our uh, X-ray room. I hope. We should be able to put an X-ray in there, I think. This is going to be the corridor. Yep. And we'll that corridor will eventually extend on, but actually I think we're going to do a little bit of a yeah. A little bit of a bump out there as a waiting room for for the x-ray room I'm actually going to go a little bit bigger with it I'm going to go that big um, oh did that just do that for me did it dynamize everything just <laughs> it's a bit intense uh, yeah there we go we'll have a little room there let's have a look that goes one that way one that way is it worth doing Making that big enough to, to kind of cover the space then. Like that. I think it probably is. So, okay. Let's crack those open there. That's going to be waiting room for x-ray. Yeah. Okay, good. Right. Floor. There we go. We might eventually look at doing some sort of floor pattern. Don't tell me we're out of money. We are completely out of money. Oh, my God. We are completely out of money. That just building those walls has cost us like twenty grand. Wow! What do we get if we cure twenty patients a day? A twenty grand reward, right? That's what we need to do then. Get curing people. Okay, uh, let it run for a little while and build a third GP office just to kind of really bump the numbers up a little bit. I think the big thing is that when you take on a uh, yeah, here's another one. Doc. When you take on a a, a new um thing here where are they let's have a look the insurance companies you kind of have to have um the thing ready for them to do you see so we took on um cheapo care uh build and hire staff for one extra room you kind of have to kind of get that ready you see all right else um else because they're going to be sent in with with things that need x-raying ankle confusion ankle fracture you see so we're gonna have to send her away and that obviously loses us money and it loses reputation with us and things like that so um yeah that's that's good to know but hopefully this third gp because uh, while i was while i was waiting for it to happen we were curing about 15 people a day and there was about five or six people leaving the building just at the end of the day because they just weren't getting seen so i'm hoping that this third gp maybe not today because it was the first day that she started she started to see people though but hopefully this third gp is enough to get us over the um see look it's all stuff that needs that needs x-raying you see hospitalization regular hospitalization um I mean, we can't look at examinations, x-ray back. It's just something we can't do, unfortunately, which is what we should really be doing, I think. Um, so, yeah, you just got to clear off. Sorry, James Gonzalez. Um, but still, you know, doctors are gaining experience, uh, which I think might be new. I don't remember seeing that before. But still, you know, people are coming through. We need that, that number to be 20. Unfortunately, we are sending quite a few away. Um, we've had 20 come in. So if we were treating them a little bit better, we might do okay. But at least we've got 10 grand in the bank because I took a loan out. So we can build an x-ray room. Uh, or at least begin to. I don't know how expensive they are. They're probably going to be mega expensive now, aren't they? Uh, but still, let's uh, let's go to... Um, how do we do it? Is it down here? Emergency. There. X-ray room. Yes. All of you. Boom. So it's not accessible, which is fine. We'll make it accessible. There is an x-ray single x-ray door yeah there we go so i want you on the wall there or do we have the entrance there no, we have the entrance over here don't we all right and then we have another wall here like that and on that wall we have a regular little window door like that but then also these 
windows here that are actually sort of protective glass type windows. And we're going to click in here. So we need the X-ray machine, obviously. That's the first thing we need. Um, so we'll have you there. We need some equipment. There. Lots of equipment. X-ray control panel. That is, I assume, what they come and use. Oh, this 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 whole area needs to be a bit bigger, doesn't it? Okay. Um, wall. Let's make the wall go across. Are we out of money again? Woof. Uh, okay. Let's just run the game. We're getting there though. The main the main things in. We just need like two grand or something just to put a PC in. I don't know whether we'll get that today. Um. But yeah, a little bit of money to come in. It's 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 my own fault. It's how I play these games. I make them look nice. I don't. I'm not really fussed about, <laughs> about management. I know it annoys a few people, but you know what? We've got a dollar. That's all I'm going to say to you. We've got a dollar. Um, it's just that's you know that's what geekism is. We play creatively. We always have done. So, um, you know, it is what it is. People sitting over here waiting. They're going to the stat lab. Stat lab is stat lab busy. <clears throat> Somebody went home then because they didn't have enough time to get into the stat lab. Do we need to take on another stat lab worker? We have got another desk. They could do it. They could they could double the workflow. It'd be nice to see somewhere, you know, how many people are coming in and out. 20 people came in. We killed 14. We sent 11 home. I know 20 came in from insurance companies, right? Okay. Um, go on. Do you know what? Just to get this finished, we'll we'll slowly pay it back off camera. I'm going to take another 20 grand loan just so we can get this. You know, a small loan of a million dollars. Let's just um, do that so that we can finish what we want to do. Uh, you can go now. Okay. Um, do you know what? I don't like all of the windows, actually. I wonder if there's a, a more... <clears throat> Uh, I don't know, a window that looks a bit more like it's an indoor window. Metal slide, no, they're sliding doors. They look nice, though. Glass small. Yeah, that's the more sort of thing we're looking at. So we'll have a couple of those there. Okay. Uh, door in. I do, I do like that one. That looks like a, like a reinforced bit of glass door. So we need an office desk. On that office desk, we need a PC. On the next to that PC, we need a chair. A white chair. And then, then we need our X-ray panel. There we go. And then we need somewhere to actually view the X-rays. We'll put a couple of them there. We'll put one of them in here as well, just in case. Uh, dressing screen, yes, because somewhere for them to uh, get dressed behind. Or is it, would that be better? No, I like the more portable ones, to be honest. Um... Oh, they're, oh, they're lower cabinets. A wall mounted there. That was the one I was looking for. I want those up there. Um, but I want these. Oh, the whole thing's gone. Okay. I want one. I want those there with cabinets underneath them. There we go. That's what I'm looking for. Um, and a little stool for some reason. And I would say that's probably it, really. It's got the x-ray on the walls. Okay, cool. So that's cost us. It only cost us another four grand. Look, we'll pay 20 of that back as soon as we can. Let's fill this area out, and let's turn the uh, the rooms into the right things. So corridor, yes. Uh, so all of you are corridor. Do I not have the corridors painted yet? Oh dear, dear, dear. Um, I know I do. It's just this is this is now classed as the X-ray area. Okay. So the waiting room for said X-ray area is going to be here. Um, back into here. So, what do we need for our? Do we need an info screen. Uh, what's that cat doing? One of them on there. We need our Q marker, which we'll put. Uh, should we put it here so you sort of let yourself know by the door? No, that doesn't seem right, does it? I think um, we'll do it there, and then we'll have some benches here, 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 here here there we go and then I don't really feel like there should be there's usually they have notice boards up because they they usually tell them you know sort of stuff that's coming little uh, 
things that they've got going on, you know. Okay, so I think that's X-ray done. The white chairs for X-ray, that's fine. We'll have it. We'll have chairs be the color that changes. Okay, so now we should be able to. Oh, we need to get somebody for the X-ray, don't we? Let's have a look uh, at that. Higher. Now, is that is it a statistician? Radiology. That's what they need to have. Forty-nine percent radiology. Carol Harris. The legend that is. Um. We get 10 more people coming a day now. And hopefully we can cure those 10 people. Okay. So now the doctors should automatically... It won't do much today because it's 20 past 7 to be honest. So in fact nothing will happen today. So let's straight on till morn. I think we can do that at 8pm. We can go straight on till morn. Uh, yep. Yeah. Straight on till morning. What ho, don't spare the horses. It's a weird thing to say that. It always feels placeholder, that, doesn't it? You know, that almost feels dev text. <laughs> As straight on till morning. Um, I quite like it. Uh, it is the morning. That's good. So, I, I can't tell, unless I just can't see it, I can't tell whether the place is messy or not. She's coming and cleaning up. It's very difficult, you know, something like theme hospital, there's big piles of sick and turds and stuff on the floor. You can really tell whether or not the place is messy or not. I don't know whether or not if, the, if her cleaning up is doing anything. I just, I don't know. I don't know. It's very difficult to get any sort of feedback, really. Oh, who's this? Manager? What? Oh, you can't go in there, mate. What, why on earth, what on earth? Unless you work here, buddy. That says restricted access on that door. How weird was that? I thought it was just like we'd, we'd got a hospital manager from somewhere. Maybe, what is going on? Why are they coming? No, no, no. No, no, no. This isn't how this works. I know what it is, you know. I know what it is. We've got the waiting room messed up, haven't we? Let's have a look at our thing here. Look, clinic. Um, emergency. Uh, the reception ensures that patients get triaged correctly upon arrival, so patients with high risk get prioritised during their visit. Right, so... Reception needs to not be you, I think. How do we clear the map? There we go. Employee has no workspace. No, 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 no. Okay, so we can't do that. Where's reception? So you are... Oh, I cleared the whole thing out. Right, okay. So your reception. And then this is waiting room. Okay, let's see if that fixes the problem. And then we can, should be able to set you to somewhere. How do we do it? Uh, that one, isn't it? Yeah. You work there with nine people. Nine people queuing. Now, are you queuing to see the doctor? Or are you you're just waiting? There we go. That seems right. Okay, they're now, they're now not standing in the silly spot, I don't think. We'll keep an eye on it. Awful lot of people queuing up. Let's hope they, they, we've got 30 odd people coming in there, you see. We should be able to treat the 20 patients a day. That'll give us the 20 grand. Yes, x rays up and running. Nice. That's what we like. Gonna photo the x ray there for the thumbnail. Not that many people waiting for the x ray, actually. But at least it's, you know, we're not getting any of those. We don't know what to do, because that was the problem. We were getting lots of, um, we don't know what to do. Can you stop looking at Facebook, please? Guy needs an x-ray here. All right, there we go. It's a better thumbnail. Yeah, I'm having a look. Yeah. All right, off you pop, chop. Yeah, like hovering over to be able to see who's queuing would be useful. Because in a minute, these are all just going to go Bruh, and run out. I'm hoping we can get to 20 a day. We're on 15. And 
other than maybe just not being able to get through them quick enough. 16. We're, um, you know, we've got rid of the problem, which we, our problem was that we weren't able to x-ray anybody. 17, that's good. Um, three more in the next hour, unless each of the three that are in there now are going to get cured. 18, good. Uh, might just do it, you know. Might just get that 20 grand. As long as the two or three that are in there now get cured, I think we're going to do okay. 19. Yay! There we go. Okay. So we'll use that cash to pay off a bit of our debt. There we go. And we're nearly good to pay the next debt off as well, which is pretty sweet. Um, we cure 22. We need to do 30 per day. So I think really the next the next thing we need to increase is it's it's GPs, isn't it? Really, we need another GP on the go and maybe another stat. I didn't see how how sort of backed up stats looked, but um, yeah, I think uh, I think that was the solution. He's making sure that whatever. See, that's fine. Look, twenty grand daily emergency profit. But if we go down here to insurance companies, um, I think we can we can enable that. But we need general surgery. It needs to so the general surgery has to be ready for us, you know. Once they're up and running, it's fine. It's just increasing what we've got, you see. But um I think once you start clicking these, you need to be able to build these ready because the patients that they send in are gonna be looking for these services. And I think that's kind of how the uh, how the game sort of staggers itself. So that's good. But there we go, we've got X-ray in and a bit of uh, office work here, and and yeah, I'm, I'm quite happy with how we've done to be honest. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, you can give us a like, it really does help out the channel. If you're not already, don't forget to subscribe. Any thoughts, queries, or suggestions, you can pop them down in the comments. If you fancy a chat, you can find me on Twitter. I'm at John T. Sparrow. If you'd like to join in with the Geekism community, you can do so over on our Geekism Discord server. You'll find the link for that in the description. Thank you to all of our patrons who make these videos possible through their generous pledges at patreon.com slash geekism. And don't forget to check out our affiliate links where you can get yourself cheap games and other goodies while supporting the channel as well. You can find all that in the description. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.